Buon pomeriggio. I'm Mark Rotella, director of the Coche Institute for the Italian Experience in America at Montclair State University. I'd like to welcome you all to the presentation of the Coche Insera Award for Excellence and Innovation in the Teaching of Italian. This is truly an important award as it forms the foundation for Italian language education in grade school through high school to prepare students for the university level and in life. At a time when enrollment in the humanities and languages is dropping across the country, these educators are striving to develop an interest in languages and to ensure that we are forming well-rounded, creative, and analytical students. The Coche Insera Award honors a teacher of Italian at the K through 12 level. It is generously donated by Coche Foundation in the name and memory of its founder, Mr. Joseph Coche Jr. and by Mr. Lawrence and Sarah Jr. Just a little background, founded in 1994 by Joseph and Elda Kocha, and now under the leadership of President Alisa Kocha, the Kocha Foundation endeavors to preserve and promote Italian culture in conjunction with its academic arm, us, the Kocha Institute. Mr. Insera, chairman and CEO of Insera Supermarkets, contributes significantly to the rich field of Italian American studies, having instituted in 2011 the Teresa and Lawrence R. Insera Endowed Chair in Italian and Italian American Studies, also here at Montclair State University. And now, to announce the award winner, it's my pleasure to introduce the chair of the award committee, Professor Andrea Baldi who is the chair of the Italian department at Rutgers University in New Brunswick, New Jersey. I'm thrilled to be here today to announce the recipient of the Coccia and Serra Award for Excellence and Innovation in the Teaching of Italian K-12. First of all, let me thank the Coccia and Insera families for their incredible generosity and continuing advocacy for the promotion and dissemination of Italian language and culture. This award is truly unique at the national level in recognizing the dedication, pedagogical skills, and spirit of innovation of a very special teacher. It is, however, a larger tribute to the commitment, creativity, and accomplishments of K-12 teachers. It is also an encouragement to all of us to pursue our efforts to refine our instruction and to improve our students' linguistic and cultural competence. We are particularly grateful to the Koch and Insera families for their unwavering support under the current very difficult circumstances. These have been the most trying times our educational system has faced in many years. We had to switch from in-person to online or hybrid instruction and quickly learn new teaching strategies. We also strive to be more available than ever for our students and to support them while facing our own personal challenges. That's why the other members of the Blue Ribbon panel and I were especially impressed by the excellent applications we received, which exemplified the resilience, dedication, and resourcefulness of so many of our colleagues during this crisis. For their enthusiastic participation in the selection process and their thorough evaluations of these applications, I would like to thank my colleague committee members, Dr. Anna Valeria Guazzieri, Director of the Education Office in the Italian Consulate in New York, Ida Noemi Lanza, a retired teacher from San Pedro High School in California and the recipient of the 2013 Koch and Sarah Award, and Dr. Mary Sisler, Visiting Assistant Professor at Hamilton College. Turning now to the recipient of this year's award, our decision was particularly difficult because, as I said, we received several outstanding applications, not only from the tri-state area, but also from California and Texas. And this is a further testament to the significance of this recognition. Among these remarkable candidates, the winner stood out for her masterful integration of technology and individualized attention in her instruction her leadership qualities, her strive for innovation, her thoughtful teaching philosophy, and her original strategies to promote her students' achievements in the spirit of social justice. We were particularly struck by your commitment to the APE program, which culminated in the production of videos for the APE exam. And now, without further ado, the winner of the 2020 Koch and Sarah Award for Excellence and Innovation in the Teaching of Italian is Maria Gloria Borza from Bel Air High School in Bel Air, Texas. Congratulations, Maria Gloria. 
And now I will turn it over to Ms. Elisa Kocha, president of the Kocha Foundation, who will present the award. Ciao a tutti. My name is Elisa Kocha with Kocha Foundation. I'm very proud to be here today to present our Kocha and Sarah Award to our wonderful recipient. I would first like to thank Enza and Mark for everything they have done and the committee to, in preparing this symposium for all of you today. Um, I would also like to thank our Blue Ribbon panel for all their time and talent in selecting our wonderful recipient. On behalf of my family, we wish you all the best. We are very proud to award this or to partner with the Ansara family, who we are very blessed to have a special relationship with them and partner with them in presenting this award to you. So without further ado, Maria Gloria, I'd like to read the, the plaque to you. Uh, Kocha and Sarah Award for Excellence and in Innovation in Teaching of Italian, presented to Maria Gloria Borsa, Bel Air High School, Houston, Texas. Our most enthusiastic congratulations for this significant professional achievement for both yourself and the fortunate students who will benefit from your exemplary teaching of Italian language and culture. Behind me, as you can see, are my parents, the founders of Kocha Foundation and our academic arm, Kocha Institute, Joseph and Elda Kocha. We're, we're very proud of my parents and my, my family. I have, two, I have a lot of siblings. I have two brothers and two sisters, and we're very, very proud of the work that my parents have done here at Montclair State University and our foundation as well. Thank you. It is a great honor and a humbling experience to receive the Caccia in Serra Award for Excellence and Innovation in the Teaching of Italian. As an immigrant and now a new citizen of this country, I have much to be grateful for. I am grateful for the professionalism that I have enjoyed since I started teaching here, first as a bilingual fourth grade teacher, and now as an Italian teacher, an AP reader, and an AP consultant with the College Board. My classroom is my second home, a place where I help shape my students' futures and a place where they help me shape my present and understand my past. Last year, my first time to be involved in the Teaching Italian Symposium, I was deeply impressed by all the attendees and their great passion for teaching and promoting Italian language and culture. I was inspired as I watched Raffaella Pirone receive the award in 2019. I did not know her personally, but I observed that she appreciated the acknowledgement of all her work and engagement in the classroom. Teachers devote their time, their energies, and a big part of their lives to help young people grow up. And very often this is done without a recognition of their efforts. Yet, their greatest happiness and gratification is to see their students learn, to listen to their success stories, the ones that we are a part of. I want to thank Dr. Andrea Baldi, President Elisa Coccia, Mr. Inserra, the Coccia and Inserra families, Mark Rotella, and the Blue Ribbon panel of judges that chose my application from among those submitted by the many amazing teachers who applied. When one of us receives an award as a recognition of our work, we all receive it. It is a sign of appreciation of our daily work in the classroom. Thank you. To congratulate Maria Gloria Borsa, I'd like to introduce Honorary Consul of Italy in New Jersey, Mr. Dominic Caruso. Uh, thank you, Mark. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, as the Honorary Consul for the Republic of Italy uh, in Clifton, uh, I am so proud to be here um, and support the um, symposium Montclair State and Kosha Institute. Uh, first of all, I want to congratulate Maria Gloria Borza on the Excellence and Innovation in Teaching Award uh, for 2020. Uh, I also want to uh, congratulate all of the teachers who are participating in this symposium. Uh, you are all the um, most important part of this entire process. Uh, you're the boots on the ground. You are the people who have direct contact with the students and you have it within your power to bring forth the next Elena Ferrante or the next uh, Dino De Laurentiis um, 
with your, uh, your, your enthusiasm and your innovation in teaching uh, the Italian language and teaching about Italian culture and heritage. So thank you so much for doing that. We as a consulate are always um, uh, proud of what you do and here to support you in any way we can. So if you ever need anything, obviously um, we are here for you and we'd love to hear from you. Uh, I also wanna thank the Kosha Institute for their continued um, participation and the continued sponsorship of this great event. Uh, I've had the privilege uh, to know Joe Kosha III uh, and uh, I know that Elisa and Elda and the entire Kosha family are continuing his legacy and keeping him, uh, his name alive. Uh, he was always interested in keeping, uh, in expanding Italian culture. And um, certainly the Kosha Institute is a great, great um, way of doing that and uh, keeping his uh, memory alive. So thank you so much, Kosha Institute. Also want to thank Montclair State for sponsoring this, for keeping the symposium uh, continuing even in these uh, difficult times with the pandemic. So um, appreciate all your hard work. Thank you so much. Congratulations to not only the award winner, but all the teachers participating. Uh, and I wish you, you a, a good afternoon. Mr. Lawrence Enceta Jr. is not able to join us today, but in his place to offer words of congratulations is his daughter, Lindsay Enceta, Vice President of Health and Wellness and Marketing at Enceta Supermarkets. Hi, my name is Lindsay Enceta, and I'm the VP of Health and Wellness at Enceta Supermarkets. It is my honor and privilege to congratulate Maria Gloria Borsa on her fantastic award um, she is the recipient of the Cocha and Sarah Award for Excellence and Innovation in the Teaching of Italian. Um, we have been proud supporters and friends of the Cocha family for many, many years. My grandfather and, um, and Mr. Cochia were buddies for a very long time, and we, I, we count them as family. So being able to be part of these kind of awards and seeing the advancements in Italian and keeping making sure that we keep that heritage going and going for many generations to come is so important, not just to our family, but to theirs as well. I come actually from a family of immigrants from Italy. My great grandfather who started our business in Lynnhurst, New Jersey actually, um, was an Italian orphan who actually was adopted by an American family and they came over and lived in the United States. And my great grandmother also immigrated from Italy to um, the same area, actually. And the story of that, as the story goes, um, everyone thinks that we started our company um, as a butcher shop, which is actually correct, but they always think it's Patsy's butcher shop. It actually wasn't. It was the women side, women's side of the family, Antoinette, it was my great grandmother's name, that were the butchers. And they actually taught my great grandfather everything there is to know about um, me and so it's always been an honor and a privilege to be part of this and we could not be prouder of the pantry which is something that's near and dear to our heart as food insecurity touches many more people than you could possibly imagine one in six people are food insecure in, in New Jersey and we could not be prouder of Maria and congratulations again from my family to yours once again thank you to all the judges and presenters tonight and a special auguri to Maria Gloria Borsa. Buonanotte.